And here is footage of the Pink Parade, a celebration of breast cancer survivors. This, as you know, is a tradition at the Race for the Cure, which is coming up in April. You can be a part of this fight against breast cancer. Today, we want to talk about this important event. We've got Natalie Sutton with Susan G. Coleman of Central Indiana and Beth Pereka, who is a Coleman ambassador and a breast cancer survivor. It's great to have both you ladies in today. Thank you. Thank so, Natalie, let's start about uh, Race for the Cure. Tell us about the event. Registration's underway, right? Yes, at ComanCentralIndiana.org. You can register today. The event is on April 29th. Um, while it's snowing today, we know that by April, winter will be gone, and we're excited to get everybody out in our community racing for the cure. This has been such a big event in our community for so long. How many people typically show up for Race for the Cure? We expect between 13 and 14,000 people on Race for the Cure. And there is something about seeing so many women dressed in pink and, and uh, walking and running. It's, it's a really great event. Now, Beth, for you this year, this is going to be an important year. Why is that for you? This will be my first year walking as a survivor. Mm. So I'm a recent breast cancer survivor, um, and it's an important year for me because I get to celebrate being happy and healthy. That's good. Tell us a little bit about how you found out about your cancer. I um, had found out about my cancer. I, I found a rash, believe it or not. So I didn't have a traditional lump like most women do. Um, I had a weird rash, and I went to the urgent care. Two weeks later, I was diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer, um, stage 3B. Mm -hmm. And from there, the traditional chemo, double mastectomy, uh, radiation, and now here I am sitting here. You've come a long way, as many of the women who have experienced breast cancer. What is this like for you to think about getting to this place where you're going to now participate in Race for the Cure, given everything that you have faced? For me, being able to participate is one of the milestones that I had set for myself when I was going through treatment. Mm. So this is really important for me because, for me, it's a celebration. I'm very lucky. I have family and friends from seven different states coming in to walk with me and celebrate with me. I'm really glad for you and your team to be able to celebrate Thank next you. month. You, you, we talk a lot about early detection, which is so important, isn't it, Natalie? It is. Um, early detection is key. Um, the earlier breast cancer is detected, the more likely someone is to survive the disease. Right. Um, but it's also not just about awareness or, or getting those mammograms. You know, it's also about the research to address specific types of breast cancer that are mm. more likely to cause someone to die. So Komen is doing a lot of work in a lot of different areas to help women um, affected by this disease. Well, we can't wait for this uh, important event. And Beth, best of luck to you as you go through it. We'll be rooting for you and cheering alongside you as well. Thank you so much. All right, Race for the Cure is April 29th at Military Park here in Indianapolis. Again, Natalie and Beth, thanks so much for joining us today.